I finally found it. I did. I didn't think this day would ever happen. Um, and if you're thinking the viral hand sanitizer, no, no, no. I still have yet to ever discover those for myself. But I found something else that I have wanted to get my hands on so freaking badly. And I finally found it. I'm not gonna make you guys wait. I'm gonna, sh it's gonna be the first item that I'm gonna share. I have one, two, three bags. Plus I got a new um, wrapping paper. Cause you guys know I'm gonna use like really cute Dollar Tree things to wrap my blind date with a book that you guys have like sold me out on. I did list a couple more for sale. I don't know if I'm sold out again at this point, um, but just my packaging is Dollar Tree. The book is not from Dollar Tree. Um, and then I'm adding a bunch of goodies and stuff into my blind date. And I thought this wrapping paper was super cute. For you guys, the item, here she is. This is the Be Pure Glow Up Toner, which is supposed to be a dupe to the watermelon, and it is watermelon on this one as well, obviously. This is supposed to be Be Pure's dupe to the Glow Up Recipe, um, yeah, watermelon toner. I'm looking at it right here, and it is $35 for five fluid ounce. This is four fluid ounces for $1.25. Be Pure is that brand. They are very clearly no secrets, no nothing. They are a dupe brand. I firmly believe that. So anytime you see something from Be Pure, the question is, what is this supposed to be a dupe for? It doesn't matter what it is. I think they're duping something, um, which is very exciting because it's nice to be able to like get your hands on something a little bit more affordable not more, a little more, like $1.25 versus 35 bucks. The question is, what are the difference in ingredients, obviously? Now, the glow up recipe is PHA and BHA. Um, so I don't know if that's the same thing, but this has watermelon extract and hyaluronic acid. I really, I really did not think I was gonna find this. I didn't, I actually, a part of me kind of gave up. Like I was still like, you know, sweeping every now and again. I mean, it's a glass bottle, like shook. They didn't replicate the bottle exactly, but it's like pretty close. Like it's green lick or it's pink. I have to get a CAT scan. Every time with pink, I say green. Something about that, like the cylinders aren't firing properly. Um, but the, the liquid is pink, the top part is pink, um, except the glow recipe kind of has like a little ripple effect in the bottle. But, and I know that Dollar Tree and, or Be Pure, I should say, put out more to this collection, um, but I have only just found this, so I'm very excited for that. Like, I can, <laughs> I can finally sleep at night, okay? Some of these things do keep me up. Um, if you watched a previous Dollar Tree haul, then you saw that I hauled the Sonic Instant Vanilla Pudding. This is a completely different store, by the way, that from that haul, and I found the Snickers and Milky Way Pudding Mix. This is brand new to Dollar Tree. I think it's super cute, I love it. it would also be really cute for like the older crowd in their boo baskets. Then Dermasil Labs, which, it's almost like, I don't know. I don't know why all of a sudden certain labels or brands are trying to keep up with Be Pure, if you know what I mean? But suddenly they're all doing a little something extra. I feel like there's a piece of hair in front of my eye or something. This is a hand cuticle cream with shea butter. All right, I don't, I don't know. But this has shea butter and coconut oil and it is a hand cuticle cream, which that's interesting. It's developed with dermatologists. I've never seen that before. Then I found the Spa Luxury Vanilla Sugar Scent Body Wash. Um, I've been kind of, you know, hauling things here and there because it's like different times and different stores, but I have 
Now I have the body wash, I have the bath bombs, I have the body mist spray to this. And in an upcoming video, you're gonna see that I found the body scrub to this. So I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be a dupe to something. I just don't know what it is. And it really does have a good vanilla scent. It's a, it has a touch of a cheap smell to it. Like I can't quite put my fingers on it, but that vanilla is coming through and it's really nice. Um, then here's another Dermasil Labs. This is the Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. Cocoa Butter truly is taking a lot over by storm. Anything gourmand, vanilla-y, anything. And I feel like Cocoa Butter lives in that like ballpark. I feel like it's just been such a big deal lately. And this is eight fluid ounces. So, and it is Cocoa Butter body lotion so i found these two can you tell that one yeah i feel like this one's like a light brown and a mint green packaging really cute then i found these eye glass cords for a dollar 25 there's a different a bunch of different ones to choose from and um i really liked the pearls i instantly saw this and i thought how cute would that be a string across a purse for your charms so we'll see we'll see if this one like ends up looking cute i don't know if it's too fragile for that but it's something to consider maybe yeah i grabbed another one of the mini clue board games this is one of the newest release the clue junior they also release scrabble so i'm just obsessed with these little games i just like that it's a dollar 25 um and I like that the pieces are small. It's just perfect for junk journaling. And it's a big name brand. The images are beautiful. It's just so well done. I mean, and for the price, that's why I'm obsessed with it. Um, okay, next up, I picked up one of these fresh linen air refreshers. I just want to see if I like put it next to Loki's kennel, if it will like do a little something in my room because I have the biggest fear of nose blindness and I just know my room smells. Even though like Loki's getting his baths and even though I'm washing out his ta his blankets, um, I just know that's, that dog smell is still kind of occurring. So anyways, I just wanted to like set this next to the window where his kennel is and see if it does anything. Um, all right, then I picked up the Sassy and Chic double-sided foot file and brush. Look how pretty she is. Like for a boo basket, perfection. I mean, take it out of the packaging. It'll look a lot better in my opinion at this point. With them slapping this on, like I'm literally, we gotta, we gotta write Dollar Tree. Like we, this needs to be a movement. Um, Kay and I were talking about, if I, told, I told you guys I met um, a viewer at Dollar Tree. She was like, oh, I'm writing to Dollar Tree about this. And I'm like, we all need to because anyways um look how pretty that is yeah i'm gonna use this in a boo basket and i'm gonna remove it out of the packaging so there's that then i found the leaf sponges look how cute it's very much giving scrub daddy um and this is scrub buddies which is so funny it's like dollar tree's dupe to scrub daddy it's been around for a long time actually so but I do know that they're supposed to be duping Scrub Daddy. Like even their name is like the same, essentially. So these are just the leaf shaped sponges. Um, that will also be really cute for a boo basket. Then I found these ping pong balls. They're called sport balls. And you can see basketball, soccer in there. Um, I don't know like what else, but there's a little smiley fat face in there. I thought that was really cute. So I just grabbed it. Um, so there's that bag. I'm just gonna kind of throw. I still cannot believe that I finally, like this went viral, like what, almost a year ago? Maybe somewhere in that ballpark. I mean, it's been a while. Okay, I picked up some planner stuff. I'm actually, um, going to start using an A5 planner, and I believe this is an A5 size. Yep, wait, does it say it? It's an eight and a half by five and a half. 
which I believe is an A5 or is it an A6? I don't remember, but I got these little refills from Jot. And then I also got this, which I've gotten before. These are just the planner stickers. It has like all of those things that you would need, like reminder, holiday, birthdays, urgent, get it done, vacation appointments, to-dos, has all that good stuff. Um, then I picked up this dot glue runner. Not Crafter Square giving us a dot glue runner. I think this is the first of its kind that we've ever seen at Dollar Tree. Shook on that one, okay? Then I found some more hot and cold iPads with some new designs. Of course, it's gonna be released by Be Pure. Why wouldn't it be? I found the cute little purple design and then the pink smiley face flower design. So these are definitely a new drop, at least to me. I've never seen them before. I picked up another set of these fruit puffy stickers. You guys just know Dollar Tree stickers do it to me. Um, and then I picked up these shaped animal sounds flashcards. I thought the shape was like really cute. I don't know. Let me kind of. How the hell is that? A sh this is just one shape. I thought it was going to be like a, a big to do. It's not. But the card is still actually really cute. So I'm not mad about it. I just thought we were going to get, you know, a bunch of different variety of shapes. And that's not the case, but I still like it. Um, and then I also got these for my planner. They're like little tabs and flags and sticky notes. Like, I love those. The color palette is really cute. I prefer, like, I like them, but I don't know. Um, then I found these word strips, Teaching Tree $1.25. And when I looked at them closely, they have strawberries on them, which is so freaking sweet. Um, and then they also have this pattern on the back. So you get a total of how many do you get in here? 30 pieces. So I'm guessing 15 of each that's in this packaging. Um, I love, again, using this for junk journaling. So there's that. And then I found a new large foil classroom decor piece. I've never seen this before. It's super adorable. This is the back to school. Also, I still have my back to school kits available. I think I have a couple more left. I have my Halloween lunch bag ephemera kit that you can get from me as well. And I have my a couple of my 4th of July. I think there's still quite a few of my kits available. Um, my back to school kit was actually one of my favorites this year next to my 4th of July. So I love it. Then I found these stickers by the Teaching Tree. I have found Teaching Tree to be another one of those labels at Dollar Tree or brands that's been very surprising. Sassy and Chic, been there forever. They've upped their game. Teaching Tree, been at Dollar Tree forever, but just now they're really getting into their groove. Um, yeah, like Driver's Choice. There's so many super old brands that have been there forever and they really are just like thriving and doing so well. Um, okay, then Sassy and Chic. I found this guy, I've never seen it before. It's a new drop, look at their packaging. Um, this is a wooden foot file. Why? Why there? Why it not like at, at the very minimum in the back? Why there? The rage that I feel. <laughs> uh. um, I got more of the fruities. This is so cute. If you didn't watch my Monday haul, definitely go check it out. I talk all about candy and how important I think it is for you guys. I don't know if important is a stretch. Let's just use the word informative. I just wanted to be very informative and let you guys know how great it is to actually find some of these candies at Dollar Tree because they go for way more on other websites. So, I got another bag of those. And this is another one of those candies. So if you did watch that video, the Krabby Patties are huge. 
from these candy stores when I see them packaging all of their online candy orders. I always see SpongeBob Krabby Patties. And I'm like, those are at Dollar Tree. Now be careful because Dollar Tree will also sell them individually. But in this one, you get how many Krabby Patties? It doesn't even give you the count, honestly, but obviously you get way more than adult, uh, one for $1.25. And they're actually really good, cute gummy candy. It does not taste like a hamburger, it just tastes like a fruity gummy. Um, and then the very last item, I got another Miss Spa, one of these um, masks. This is the Bentonite Beauty Clay Refining Mask. And in a previous haul, there was a silver one and then like, I think an orange one, like a silver label and then an orange label. I forget what the names of those were, but um, got a pink one. So in case like your boo basket is pink themed, this one would be a cute pickup for that. I really liked the silver label and the orange label for like my type of boo baskets because I just love more traditional fall colors, but I know pink is a very hot color for fall too. So. This would be a great pickup for that. But that's it. That's my haul. Really, I had to come here to show this. I did it, you guys. I can check this off of my list in my brain. I can finally sleep at night. Now, if only I can find the Touchland dupes to the hand sanitizer. I don't know. I'm not holding my breath unless Dollar Tree decides to do another release of them, which I think they probably will. I mean, it's Be Pure that did the dupe. So I just have to be patient and hope that my Dallas stores will get them. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy my videos. I literally get to sit here and be here because you're watching me. And for those of you that have been with, with me for years, Thank you so much for giving me your time um, and for just like watching my videos and letting my ads run and all that stuff that like obviously keeps me here. So thank you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow for another haul. Bye.